Hello and welcome to Crypto TV. I'm your news host Jasnoor Kaur and let's get started with the headlines. RBI Governor Das reiterates cryptocurrencies pose huge risk. India's chief economic adviser says cryptos yet to pass test of fiat currency. Cryptocurrencies give up gains after ECB rate move. After Coinbase, Wazir X and Unicoin to slow down hiring. $15 million of optimism tokens stolen by attacker. Ronin blockchain surpasses $4 billion in all-time NFT sales volume. Felix Capital raises $600 million to boost Web3 exposure. Ahmedabad firm to launch Gujarat's first NFTs for movies, celebs. Coinbase makes strategic investment in crypto exchange, Zipmax. Cryptocurrencies pose huge financial stability risks to the economy. Reserve Bank of India Governor Shakti Kant Das reiterated at an event on Thursday. Das said the RBI had already conveyed its apprehensions about cryptos posing a threat to financial stability to the government. Das had earlier made similar statement last month when he said that cryptocurrencies will seriously undermine the monetary, financial and macroeconomic stability of India. The governor said that it was waiting for the government to release its consultation paper on cryptocurrencies. The Reserve Bank has been cautioning investors regarding trading in cryptocurrencies amid the ongoing crypto market crash. India's chief economic advisor V. Anant Nageswaran on Thursday said cryptocurrencies have yet to pass the test to become fiat currency since the digital currency cannot satisfy basic requirements such as having store value, widespread acceptability and unit of account. Speaking at an Asocham event, the chief economist said that the new innovations such as crypto or decentralized finance are yet to prove its merit. Referring to the difficulty in regulating cryptocurrencies, Nageswaran said there appears to be a case for regulatory arbitrage and in the absence of a centralized regulatory authority, it could only imply there is a world of Caribbean pirates or a world of winner-takes-it-all. Cryptocurrencies fell after the European Central Bank ended a long-running stimulus scheme on Thursday and signalled a series of rate hikes that may be scaled up from September if the inflation outlook fails to improve. The ECB said it will end bond buys on July 1st, then raise interest rates by 25 basis points later that month. Unlike the Fed, the ECB also has no plans to reduce its balance sheet with policymakers reaffirming their commitment to keep reinventing cash maturing from the 5 trillion euros worth of public and private debt the ECB holds. US stock indices were set to open lower as rising bond yields pressured technology and growth stocks, while concerns around surging inflation and the path for interest rate hikes sapped risk appetite. Future contracts tied to S&P 500 and tech-heavy Nasdaq futures were down by over 0.4%, indicating lower opening. Cryptovias IC15 index fell 1.5% to around 49,500, giving up its earlier gains in the day. Bitcoin was recently seen trading at around $30,100, down nearly 1.4% in the past 24 hours. Ether was seen trading around $1,800, down 1.5% in a similar time span. Other major altcoins traded mixed. Indian crypto exchanges Wazir X and Unicoin are slowing down their hiring due to harsh new tax regime and a pullback from banks and payment processors, which have caused trading volumes to plummet. Nischal Shetty, co-founder of Wazir X, stated that the top reasons for the slowdown are bearish markets, regulatory uncertainty and the current banking issues. They are working on solving regulatory uncertainty and banking issues. But until then, the Indian crypto industry will continue to see downward pressures in terms of business growth. 
Satvik Vishwanath, co-founder and CEO of Unocoin, said that the company decided to change its hiring plans in the past couple of weeks. Like other tech-based companies, they have also become cautious with their hiring. They are concentrating on filling up crucial roles in the organization as opposed to those meant to build in redundancies. The developments come soon after Coinbase, the largest US crypto exchange, announced a hiring freeze and even rescinded accepted offers across its global offices. Ethereum scaling solution Optimism announced that $15 million in Optimism governance tokens have been stolen by attackers. The funds were intended to be sent to a crypto market maker, but they ended up in the wrong hands when the market maker Wintermute provided Optimism's team with an incorrect blockchain address. Wintermute says it bought the 1 million tokens immediately sold by the attacker following the exploit. The attacker sent 1 million Optimism tokens worth about $874,000 to Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin's wallet address. The exploiter also delegated voting rights for the 1 million tokens to Ethereum Foundation security researcher Yao Weiss. Wintermute has asked the hacker to return the stolen OP tokens while offering a consulting role to the entity responsible. The exploiter has one week to respond to Wintermute's offer. The remaining 18 million tokens are still in the attacker's wallet. OP token is currently trading around $0.81, down by 20% in the last 24 hours. The popular blockchain Ronin has reached a new milestone in the non-fungible token space, trailing only Ethereum as the biggest blockchain by all-time sales volume. So far, Ronin had a total NFT sales volume of approximately $4.07 billion. Looking at the spike in unique buyers from August, the increase in sales resulted in the chain's soaring total transaction counts of 305,127 unique buyers and 1,853,437 transactions. The same period was Ronin's all-time high in monthly sales volume with around $848.24 million. The majority of this volume came from Axie Infinity, the most popular play-to-earn game. This comes as a massive boost to the entire Ronin ecosystem after its coin Ron plunged to new high lows in the market crash of May. Ron is currently trading around $0.48, up by over 3% in the last 24 hours. Felix Capital, a venture capital company, has just raised $600 million to invest in Web3 and blockchain companies. The target for the fund was set to $500 million, which was oversubscribed by 20%. The London-based firm known as Venture Capital for the creative class now has $1.2 billion in total assets under management following the raise. Felix Capital stated that they are expanding their areas of interest, planning to grow their exposure to Web3, a new platform for creativity, community and of course entrepreneurship. Friedrich Court, the founder and investment partner of Felix Capital, mentioned that the company is actively looking to invest in at, at least 25 companies across Europe and North America that tap into changing customer behavior. Other fintech companies funded by Felix include Juni, a banking platform, and Forta, a payment processing platform. That's all for today. I'm your news host, Jasnoor Kaur, signing off and keep watching Crypto TV.